My name is Gabriel Kreuter of uh, Gabriel Kreuter Restaurant and today we're going to talk about the sauerkraut and sturgeon tart with caviar. The concept of this dish is that I had a lot of people over the years asking me about sauerkraut and how come sauerkraut is not part of a fine dining the restaurant or a menu. I've always thought it was too rustic. I played around with a, uh, a couple different things and I came the idea of uh, using sauerkraut in the tart shell, something a little bit crunchy, made out of uh, filo dough, and then uh, put the sauerkraut in and uh, replacing somehow the meat and the sausages with something else. So I thought about uh, sturgeon and caviar. Why sturgeon? Because uh, we always use the caviar, but we don't use really the sturgeon meat. So I thought that would be a perfect link to uh, have smoked sturgeon on top of sauerkraut and top it with uh, the most luxurious item, which is caviar. So, and uh, it just came out beautifully and uh, I give it to taste to many people and, uh, and people loved it. So we kept just doing it. I wanted to, uh, to combine that whimsicalness with the, with the sturgeon, but also then coming up with a way of serving it that will make people smile and, and bring the smoke to the table. So what we're doing in the kitchen is we smoke it under a wine glass. And when we serve to people, we take the wine glass off and the smoke comes in their face. And I think that adds uh, an element to the dish that, uh, that the smoke and, and it, it gives you the whole the spirit of the dish. I think it really showcases that uh, my, my roots are from Alsace and it's really the country of sauerkraut. It gives justice to sauerkraut in a, in a, in a nice environment and in a light way and uh, by using fish and, and, and the caviar. It's, it's, uh, it's something different that probably will not have been done where I'm from really. I think the spirit of New York made me go uh, to do that instead, uh, I will say in Alsace, you probably will not find somebody touching too much on sauerkraut like that. There is always a way of working on something that is rustic and refine it, as long as you don't lose the spirit of it, of what you're trying to achieve. 